My name is John Del Mixon. I'm Vice President of Information Technology for Service Corporation International. We're based in Houston, Texas, and we're a very large group of funeral homes and cemeteries, about 2,000 in number, about 20,000 employees that we manage in the United States and Canada and Puerto Rico. Mettel is a, a very key partner of ours. They help us with a lot of our legacy phone, um, managing our lines, providing support, helping us with our strategy, and giving us overall direction about how to be a more integrated and more of a seamless uh, infrastructure for 2,000 locations. Over the last five years have been very much about the foundation applications and foundation infrastructure for the corporate environment. We've gone to software as a service for our financial applications, our HR, payroll, PO, AP. So a lot of the things that run the back office, we're in a very good place with, with state of the art, best of breed, tier one application providers. Now we're making the shift over towards the customer facing world where this is where our funeral directors and cemeterians are working with families during a very difficult time and we're looking to digitize that whole experience to give our customers more choice and, and a much more engaging environment to make decisions during a very difficult time of their lives. But we're constantly asking ourselves, you know, how do we remain relevant to the consumer? Well, we know the way that funeral and cemetery services have been done the last 10 years are probably not the way they're gonna be done the next five to 10 years. So we're always thinking about what's that next generation of consumer gonna to want to do differently than maybe their parents did. So one of the things that we have to do is, is make sure across our network of 2,000 locations, we've got good uh, network, uh, secure networks, uh, able to handle the, the load of these digital technologies something that um, we, is reliable, high performance, and able to really support this. Again, make it in the background, make it so the technology issues don't distract from having to, to work with our families during a very difficult time. So our vision is really to make sure we can extend a, a working model of good location level technical infrastructure that we can rely on, that uh, we can um, grow, across a very, very scalable. We also work with, with locations that vary in size. We have locations that have 700 employees. We have locations with seven. So we have to be able to scale the model dep depending on the size of the business, the type of clientele they have, expectations of the consumer. So it has to be a very agile and very flexible model. So if we can get that done in the next several years, we're gonna have this really good foundation across our network where we can then layer on more of the applications and services in a digital format. Anytime you're trying to, to kind of upset the apple cart and, and plot a new course, a new way of doing business, the culture uh, is gonna be something you need to address. Now, a lot of our people, a lot of our associates are very technology savvy, very technology friendly, and for them, it's more about keeping them uh, continually excited, continually engaged throughout the journey. But we also have the people who are very comfortable with the old way of doing things. It, it just takes them more time and, and they usually come around once they see the results, once they see that they're able to serve families even better than, than before, they, they usually get on, on board. So it, it's just something that takes some patience, um, some nudging, and uh, I've been very pleased with how the company has embraced uh, these technologies.